How to get over panic attacks. Hello, I'm Hannibal Lecter, and I bet you already forgot my name. Let's start with the poll. A simple question. Do you get panic attacks? Yes or no? Um, what's the percentage? It's a real result as a 50-50, so I had 120 people voted yes and 120 people voted no. Does that half that's surprising, I guess? Maybe I did have a more chronic ill community audience, but yeah, take it as you will. Licensed therapist. Well, I'm not licensed to do anything, but here we are. It is just from personal experience, so no better person than a person who has a panic attack, right? Right? Right. Maybe you have one right now. I got you. And it will go away for the next five minutes. Quick definition. A panic attack is a feeling of sudden and intense anxiety. Panic attack can have physical symptoms including shaking, feeling disoriented, and nausea. A regular person would call their friend or loved ones, but let's be real, my audience doesn't have that person to call. Even if they did, they wouldn't call or text because you don't want to feel like a burden. I hear you. Anyway, the first is cocaine. Get tons and tons of cocaine. It will fix all your problems temporarily. You won't be thinking anymore. All your problems will just disappear. You'll be thinking how invincible you are. You'll be wired to clean the shit out of your dishes and separate the Skittles by color. It's available on every street corner. It's even white so it matches any decor. You can cut into little lines to make a house. The possibilities are endless. If that doesn't work then it's okay. There are other solutions that I find work. The first is removing yourself from said situation, if possible, and going to a calmer place. It will eliminate the outside triggers so you can focus on healing. The next is just focus on your breathing for a little bit and get it under control. I just take deep breaths. Let's do it together. I feel like it's a good point or so. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We'll do it one more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep doing the breathing to feel a little better. I know it's counterintuitive, but we have to find a way to stop thinking about it and do other things. My situation is that I can't walk, so I can't like go for a walk, I can't exercise, I can't do anything physical, there are many avenues that I cannot do, walking does help others, not always, but it does. It's an option. Most people are in better physical condition than I am, so I'll put it as that. A big thing that helps is playing a game on my phone. It's quick and provides a distraction. My favorite game is called Disc Brick. It's on the iOS app store. I have no idea if it's on Android Land or Google Play. Do I look like an Android loser? I'm not a loser. Anyways, it's a great game that's quick and easy and distracting. Anybody could play it. You can start and stop whenever. I'll throw it up on the screen. The app is totally free and I'm not sponsored at all. I even pay for in-app stuff to support the guy since the game is a lot of fun. I play the games for hours. I even play it for fun when I'm bored or in between meetings. Play a few rounds here and there. See if you can beat my high score of 221. Another good game is Tetris. It helps with the mind. I don't really recommend it because it gets kind of frustrating and a little too difficult. Another good game is Candy Crush. I never got sucked into it, though. The only caveat is that you have to pay to play if you run out of lives. At least this brick you can keep playing. All you failed? Just start again. With Candy Crush you gotta wait 20 minutes. In a panic attack, nobody is wanting to wait. You are filled with anxiety and in overdrive. I'll just keep playing until I feel better. Maybe it'll take hours. Watching videos or movies doesn't help. You need to stimulate your brain and have input. Video games basically are a good avenue too. Get your anger out as something else. It's hard to have the built up energy and to let it simmer and release. I don't. I let it simmer so it's not a problem. 
Maybe I'm just wired differently. Maybe I'm just used to this coping. I don't even have a choice. This isn't about me. This is about helping you. If that doesn't work, then let's do more cocaine. Look at that. We are all here now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the morning. Thank <laughs> you.